What up, guys? Kevin here. No longer playing my favorite game, your favorite game, Sylvester Stallone's favorite game, the Metacritic score game. I'm retiring it. I'm done with it. I saw that. I'm like, why is everyone posting um, Starfield went down to an 84? And I look and see metro.co.uk gave it a 60. Disappointingly low tech space exploration game that relies too much on the legacy of Skyrim and Fallout, which they probably gave it a high score. Shout out to them if they didn't. Um, and lacks the innovation and imagination to do its concept justice. This is the same bozos who couldn't give High Five Rush one of the greatest games. I think one of the greatest games of all time. It still might be my game of the year if I really think about it. Um, they couldn't give it a higher score because Xbox had a bad 2022. And I think Xbox saw that and didn't give them the code, but that doesn't stop them from reviewing the game once it's out. They did that. They put up the 60 out of 10. 60 out of 10, 60 out of 100. <laughs> and then the Starfield score dropped to a 84. Um, now, the Metacritic score, the reason why I'm really great at it is I don't guess what the score should be. I guess what the psychology of these people reviewing the game, I get in their head, and then I review the game in their head and come up with the score. That is my secret. That is how... I'm pretty damn good at the game. <laughs> but Starfield just really exposed. I think Baldur's Gate 3 really was the eye-opener for me. After I'm hearing the just nasty things coming out of Act 3, Co Carnage said like it felt like it wasn't even made by Larian and all the bugs. Um, and I'm just like, what's going on here? And then I go back to Tears of the Kingdom. I'm like, that game is not... What did it get? Like 95, 96? No. <laughs> no, that game, no. Um, same with what else? What other game? Many other games like God of War, Ragnarok. And, you know, not to pick on Sony and Nintendo here, I would say, um, what is it? Ghost of Tsushima shouldn't be like an 83. Shouldn't be. I think that scores lower than Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is insane. Um, but yeah, I think Starfield really exposed these reviewers. Jim Sterling gave it a 4 out of 10. The game's not a 4 out of 10. Objectively speaking, objectively speaking, um, the game should be at least an 8 or above. It should be an 8 or above. Or 80 out of 100. Um, there's definitely some issues. You know, I quit the game because it's boring, but unanimously people are saying like this game is so great as you get going as you get going now the game may not be for you you may find it boring but you shouldn't be reviewing the game or you should really try to understand like why did i love fallout and skyrim but not like this hmm maybe because it's xbox <laughs> and people are just trying to get their name out there people are just trying to get their name out there um IGN's doing it. PC Gamer won't shut up about the negative stuff in Starfield. And, and you can do that with every game. You can do it with every game. And it's just no longer fun. It's just no longer fun trying to get the psychology of people who are acting in bad faith. I don't like it. I don't know what else to do because I do want to play this game. And I'm not sure. Maybe I just pick out like a reviewer I like. Maybe ACG. Guess what his review score will be? Or maybe Dreamcast guy? <laughs> No, I like Dreamcast guy when he like actually objectively reviews games. Um, I don't think he was very fair to Starfield. I think he had a very negative mindset going into it. But, um, and that's the thing. A lot of these people reviewing the game have a very negative mindset. And I think a lot of it from Starfield was um, just trash in Xbox, especially during the Activision Blizzard shenanigans that's still going on. Um, a lot of these places just hate big companies like Microsoft. <laughs> watch that Bloomberg. Just watch that Bloomberg interview with uh, Todd Howard and Phil Spencer. And it is, it's hilarious just how like butthurt um, <laughs> Bloomberg is over. I don't know what, just they hate Xbox. They hate Xbox. And it's like, it's just hard. It's just hard for me to even like, it's why I root for them. It's just, I, I, I don't see the same things that the, these people are seeing. I feel like they live in some alternate world. 
where I don't know Phil Spencer Spencer like diddled their dog or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> It'll be fun to see um, how they treat Forza Motorsport. I think they'll probably actually be fair to that game because it's not a big game. But like I could see something like a Hellblade. Um, I think they'll be very harsh on Hellblade too, just because oh that was a game that was once on PlayStation and that was like the first studio that really kicked off all the purchases that Xbox has made. But yeah, sixty out of a hundred. Like, w- what game are you playing? Are you even playing the game? Wasn't there like a podcast that like dropped the score because? They they played it for five hours and didn't like it. <laughs> like we're doing that, we're doing that. I think maybe I'll start doing that. I think I'll just I won't even play games. Like I, I just played a turnites. It's fine. Five out of ten. Five out of ten. Um, tries to be too much like Persona, and it just, it feels like Persona for kids, for like teens, for like teens. Combat's pretty basic, and yeah. There you go. Five out of ten. I only played thirty minutes. But there you go. <laughs> there, there's my score for Eternites. Uh, Bat and Kaidos. Uh, I haven't played it yet, but it's from Monolith, Monolith Soft. I love them. Their games are 10 out of 10. So Bat and Kaidos, eh, 10 out of 10. There you have it. There you have it. That's, I'm a reviewer now. I review games. <laughs> All right. I got to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll figure something out. I do. I want to do something with Spider-Man, too. I want to guess whatever the praise is going to be. Maybe I'll do... Um, Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll play a game where we'll, we'll guess how the fanboys will react to it or something. I don't know. We'll figure out something fun, but I'll talk to you guys later. Later.